What's your name? Go ahead. Get on now, shoo! Get on now. Shoo! Shoo! Whole flock just about walked off. Where's that girl again? Can I hold that? You had your chance, I told you. If you want to go to school, you prove you can get your work done here. Well, it'll be done tomorrow before school, I promise. No. You lost your chance. Not a soul to help since your father died 16 years ago. Mother, may I come in? Elnorth, it's about high school. Oh, Mother, please, I really want to go to school. Seven years of school is plenty good enough. And it's not as if I have somebody else to help out here. The farm is more important. Yes, Mother. Why is Mother so stubborn? Is your mother this difficult, Freckles? Only to tell me what to do. I know I can do the high school lessons. I've studied all summer. Miss Sim? Remember her? My teacher at Brushwood School? She passed me on with honors and said, Elnora, you have the mind to go right through to college and beyond if you work hard. I know you think it's in poor taste to break. But I guess I'm doing it because I'm scared. I'm scared I won't be able to go, Freckles. But I've got to figure this out tonight because tomorrow school starts. Done. Better wash up and change your clothes. It's a long walk to town. Mother, you'll let me go? Oh, thank you, Mother. Oh, you'll never regret this. Hurry up or you'll be late. Be home as quick 
as you can. <laughs> You've gone off for getting your food. I don't want anything to eat. You'll take this or you'll not go one cent more. Walk almost three miles and then no food from morning till late in the day. Pretty figure you'd cut if you had your way. Fix it special. Chicken, your favorite. Thank you, Mother. Goodbye. Not so fast. No child of mine will walk the streets on a bash of looking like a play actress woman. Wet your hair and pull it back decent while I find something warm in case the weather turns. And remember this, Elnora. There won't be any place to run off to when the going gets too hard. No safe, secret places to sing and pretend the hour's away. Although why you love that ugly, dangerous swamp is beyond me. There's great beauty in it, Mother, when you know how to look. You won't fit in with those frilly town girls. I'll be late. Goodbye. Keep warm. Come directly back home. Come down. It's all right now. Billy, really, don't you go to school? Didn't have much a chance for that. Oh. Probably got the food in there, huh? Maybe even more than usual. I'll look and see. Your mom packed this grub for you? Yeah. Sure, lucky ma'am. You got yourself a ma. Well, where are your folks? Pa's coming to get me. That milk got natural. Where's your mother then? Took sick and died. So me and my pa, we hit the road. Living on trains mostly. Where do you live? Back up the road, headed Limberlock. Would you please tell me where the freshmen go? The same place as the freshmen. <laughs> I'll wager you're the first person I meet when I find it. I 
have you ever seen a weird hat? <laughs> You're looking for my music auditions. They're right. No. I, uh... Can you tell me where the freshmen go? Around the corner, three doors to your left, and the bell is wrong. Uh, miss, do you have your schedule and book list? Book list? The textbooks you must purchase. Algebra presumes the prior knowledge of basic computation. As I was saying, we will begin with a review. Volunteers? Yes, you, uh, yes. And all right. And since you were late, you can be the next volunteer. Well done, Miss Cornstalk. <laughs> My name is Comstock. Then why did you write Cornstalk? In my nerves, I may have made a mistake. I see. Can I help you? Sir. I'm with the freshman class. Over here. Uh, thank you. But I was wondering if it was possible maybe to exchange. Um, five dollars and fifty cents. Uh, exchange, maybe, for... Oh, you books are half price, miss. I mean, for goods, like eggs. Something from the farm? I'm sorry, I can't do that. For work? Sleeping home? My son helps me run the store.
I forgot to tell you to bring on the scraps for the chicken. There weren't any scraps. And I'm hungry again. I'm surprised. You had a good, healthy lunch. Yes, Mother. Well, we can eat first and do the work afterward. Where have you been? I expected you an hour ago. I see you've been crying. I thought you'd get your fill in a hurry. Did you know I'd look funny? Funny? Yes. No one else wears boots like this or dresses like these anymore. No one else had a funny old hat. My hair was all wrong. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. They all laughed at me. No matter. Tomorrow we'll get up early and haul the beans for winter, then we'll spend the rest of the day hoeing the turnips. No, Mother. What? Maybe the hardest is over. Tomorrow they'll know what to expect. And sooner or later they'll stop laughing. The only problem is, is that I can't go back without books. Now you want money, too. I need five dollars and fifty cents. I told you I couldn't afford a cent for going to school. I told you not to ask me for money. I never knew about buying books. Well, I did. You're so bulldog stubborn, I thought you'd better find out for yourself. You knew? Of course I knew. Everybody has to pay for everything. You don't pay one way, you do another. Of course I knew you had to pay. You mean you let me go into town? Into that school? Knowing you that You went. And you found out you can't afford it. Now this high school foolishness is over. Perhaps someday I will learn to understand you. I certainly cannot now. You can't possibly realize that you let me go up there today. I'll get the money somehow. I'll raise it myself. I'm going back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next. You need not come out. I'll finish the night and work alone. Now, Nora. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, oh, ma'am. Nearly an hour to set this up, and now look at it. I'm sorry, I couldn't see. I mean, I didn't know that you were... Well, I understand that. It's also difficult for me to see with tears in my eyes. I've been upset. So have I. Never mind, I'm losing the light anyway. I have to catch the moths just as they come out. Catch moths? In pictures. I photographed the limber lost. Well, that is what's left of the limber lost. Darn loggers are destroying everything. Did you know that? I was working down the south end of the swamp, and I came back to take pictures of my hatchings, and the whole area was gone, just, just crushed by the trees that they killed. Well, why did they cut down the trees? Business. Then what will happen? Where will the birds make their nests? What will be the homes for all the butterflies and all the other living things? What will keep the air clean? The trees gone, even the clouds will be in danger. Yes, ma'am. And look at this today. I, I nearly had an imperialis, and now that's... Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't... That's all right. I probably had to be going anyway. Being in the limber lost at night frightens me. 
Well, I'm here at night all the time. So maybe I can find something that you're looking for. I see a lot of things. And you live near here? Yes. Uh, just right over there. So you know your way around the swamp? Uh, oh. Well, no one really knows the Limberlost completely. People have died here. But you come here anyway. Because it's so beautiful. I understand. Yeah, uh, can you help, please? Okay. Okay. All right. I hope that you can get the pictures that you need some other time. Oh, I will. I don't give up easily. Hello. I'm Mrs. Porter. You're on private property. I'm just going to the road. My carriage is over there. Uh, I'm sorry I'm disturbing you, but this is the only safe path out of the Limberlost. Uh, the south tracks are being used by the loggers. They're not coming here to log. This is my land. Yes, I understand, and I respect... I have work to do. Well, my work takes me into the Limberlost, and this is the only path. That's not my fault. This is private property. You've made that quite clear. Good day. She's the most interesting person. First, I thought she was a man. Are you listening? But she's a lady, a wonderful lady. She takes photographs and talking about nature. It was as if I'd known her before. So set on going. Might as well eat right. Thank you, Mother. What was it like when you went to school? Same as for you. Were the town girls always mean? You can't trust those townspeople. Too much time for themselves, I suppose. Did you like school? I didn't keep it up. More important things to do. Such as? I don't know. Well, no. I worked with my parents on their farm. Then I met your father. It was a long time ago. Don't hope for too much, my girl. Your father had all kind of dreams. Take your food. At least we're fortunate to have more than enough of that. Thank you. 
thank you for the lunch. Foolish dream. girl from the Limberlaw. You've come a long way to high school. Your parents must be very proud. I only have a mother. She isn't always happy about school, but I come anyway. Good for you. Can I tell you something? I once entered a town school straight from the country. I wore a brown calico dress and my shoes were very heavy. Did they? Uh... <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> All of it, they didn't miss a thing. <laughs> Yesterday on the blackboard, they changed my name to Cornstalk. <laughs> For a minute, I thought I'd die. What should it be? Comstock. I'm Laura Comstock. I'm Jean Stratton Porter. I don't want to tell you how many ways they found to change that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make them stop? Yes. I worked on my book. You'll see. You work on your books, and before long, you'll hear yesterday's tormentors boasting that they were once classmates of yours. Will there be anything else today, Mrs. Porter? No, thank you. Good day, Elnora. Thank you, Mrs. Porter. Now, how may I help my second customer of the day? I need the books on this list. Oh, right over here. I really need them, but I can't pay just yet. Please, let me take them and I'll pay on Friday, or I'll return them as perfect as they are. Please, trust me. I'd like to, but your family doesn't have an account here. Perhaps your parents could come in and open one. Do you know someone who needs a good worker? You'll have to check along the street. Morning. Good morning. Excuse me. Is it Mrs. Porter that wants butterflies and moths? Yes. Thank you. So, for tomorrow, you will reread chapter two and be prepared to answer some questions. Dismiss. Me! She touched it. Look at her. She's a farmer. That was really brave. It wouldn't have hurt anyone. It's not that kind of snake. And somebody might have stepped on it. 
No, I mean, isn't it slimy and disgusting? No. But I guess farmers are strange. I didn't say that. I think being brave is good. It was brave of you to come to school here. Why? Because country girls can't read and write? Is that what you think? You could let someone talk to you without snapping their head off. Sally! It was nice of you to say that. Join us. We're getting candy. Don't invite her. I said she could come. Come on, I'm treating. Thank you, but I gotta get home right away. Elnora! Elnora! I give them back to you for the rest of your life. <laughs> come on, Billy, give them back. <laughs> <laughs> Billy! Billy, come on. <laughs> so you know Billy. She would. I gave him some of my lunch. And some of us share with those who are less fortunate instead of teasing them. What's your name? Hello? How do you like bologna? Never had any. And don't sneak up on me. And maybe you'd like to try some today. Anything you got at home will be fine to trade. Anything. Billy, where do you live? Want to trade or not? First, you tell me where you live. Billy! That's mine! Come back here! Billy! Billy! Don't get rained on. You sleep here? Pa and me, we slept in worse places. You can't stay here. It's going to get cold. You gotta find a barn somewhere. My pa told me to wait right here. Look at this place. You don't like my house. Get out of here. I can take care of myself. See, I got plenty of places to stay. Get.
Nora told you to come here? She said I could sleep in her barn. Uh-huh. Well, it's not her barn, it's mine. You're Nora's mama? Yes. So the best cooker in the whole world. Mm. Now, how'd you know that? I tasted some of your fried chicken. I never ate fried chicken that delicious in my whole life. In your whole life? See. Do you like bologna? Sometimes, when it comes from a little boy. Here you go. So she's thinking you could do some work around here, is that it? Yes, ma'am. Are you hungry? Sure am. Well, here, you churn the butter, and I'll see what there is for you to eat. Yes, ma'am. Where are your parents? Mother died. Cause my pa's coming back. We used to ride the rails. Got off here. He's gonna find me soon. My pa used to wrap me in his coat. I can sleep any place. On the floor, anywhere. And if you had an old coat, I... Well, I don't know if I can use you yet. You gotta prove yourself. There's a lot of work around here. Yes, ma'am. We'll see. No! I'm really not very good. Really, I'd like to listen. Play something now. All right. That's supposed to be an A. May I try? Do you know how? Show me. Just move it back and forth. Better. See, that proves what practicing can do. Miss Brownlee, practice is only effective when you are the one who is doing it. Mr. Hinton, I was just showing... Never mind the variations. I've already heard the theme. Now go practice. Yes, sir. And you, young lady. I see you found the freshman class. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, it wasn't Sally's fault. I asked. Do you play the violin? I'd like to. She was just teaching me. Oh. Miss Brownlee has graduated to teaching. <laughs> well, beginner's lessons with me are 50 cents each hour, one day a week, practice the other days. Miss, uh, what's your name? 50 cents every time? Uh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. What's your name? I can't afford the lessons. What is your name? Elnora Comstock, sir. Let me see your hands. 
It's hard to keep them nice. We live on a farm. I know. I know. So you're Robert Comstock's child. You're tall, just like he was. I see him in you. Did you know my father? Robert Comstock was the best violinist I ever taught. You taught my father? Well, to be precise, I don't think anyone taught Robert Comstock. I gave him lessons. You see, I, I used to think it wasn't fair for someone with that much talent to have that much fun, too. <laughs> he had fun? Oh, my dear, your father played for all the town dances. <laughs> and of course, he, he got married. And... Do you know what happened? My mother says he died in the Limberlost Swamp. I know very little about that night. Your mother is the one. You see, I lost touch with him after he left school. That's an A, Miss Brownlee. Now, Nora Comstock, your lessons will be every Tuesday during lunch. Well, sir, I... Don't bother me about money. And I have a violin that you can use. I don't think Miss Brownlee would mind if we borrowed the remainder of her lesson. Shall we? Come. Mother, I'm home. Your mom is real nice. What are you doing here? I'm gonna do some work. Somebody has to help instead of running off with strangers. Well, Mother, I have some wonderful news. I throw away enough to feed a little tyke like him every day. Don't you want to hear my news? Since you sent him here, I guess you mean for him to take your place. This is my special spice cake, and you are gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? I told you. Aren't you lovely? Oh, you feel so soft. Yes. Uh, the notice in the store said you want to butterfly the moths? Yes, but I didn't expect them so early. Oh, I'll go. No, come in. Come in.
He seemed to have. Oh, no. I was so careful. I'm sure you were. But it's the moss. There are little bugs in the moss that love to eat butterfly wings. Now, next time, what you'll do is you'll mount it on a wooden board like this. I'll show you how to do that. I, I didn't know. I thought that... It's a wonderful regalis. I haven't been able to find one of these for two winters. You make a very handsome photograph. The colors are still fresh. You can use it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I'm updating this book. Yes. I didn't know they were... Books like this? Oh, I didn't either. Oh. I bet I was a lot like you. I used to walk through the woods all the time. I still do. Photographs are so beautiful. Or are they paintings? Oh, no, they're photos. I color them myself. Oh, this one. I've seen this one. It's beautiful. That's an imperialis. That's very rare. Let me show you something. This is a male imperialis. You see, I've left space for its mate. But in all these years, I've never found one. Then it would be valuable. Oh, yes, extremely. I've also written a book on birds, if you're interested. That's when they started calling me the bird woman. Did you feel that? No, not at all. I prefer birds to some humans I've encountered. Just as I see you prefer these. When I found out they die so soon, I started saving them. About the same thing. But in their little lives, how much they do. Do? Oh, those little beings have a very big job. Carrying pollen to create new plants. Or just think, without their delicate wings, how barren the world would be. Everything in nature depends on one another. We're all part of a chain. When I was your age, nature inspired me with wonderment. And still does. Now, about this regalis. Uh, I'm sorry I did them wrong. It's all right. When I was your age, I did much worse. But now I'll show you how to open the wings when they get hard. What you do is you put them in a cloth like this. It's been wet for several days. Now, they should be quite soft. Then you hold them by the thorax like that. You press. The wings will open up. Then you take a little mounting pin and put it through. You put it in your board. Yes? Then it'll harden in about five days, and you'll have a perfect specimen. Oh. I'm going to give you these so that next time when you come, you'll know what you have and you can do better. You mean I can come again? I certainly hope so. Priceless? Mm -hmm. For the moths in the cocoons, they'll be spinning soon. You would pay me for them? Absolutely. I'll look very hard for the cocoons, and I promise next time I'll do better. Thank you. Here. This is for what you brought me today. You want them? They're very valuable to me. Very, very valuable. Thank you. You're welcome, Elnora. Dear, I told you before, we don't trade. Is this enough for the freshman books? This is the first thing I've ever bought with my own money.
are you doing? Are you Mrs. Comstock? I am. Thaddeus Applegate, county assessor. Assessor? What's that? Tax collector? Well, we don't actually collect. You receive a notice. I'll pay my taxes. Paid them same every year since my husband passed. It must be quite a burden for a woman, looking after this much property on your own. I don't see how that's your concern. If you have a paper to give me, I'll get back to work. Not that simple. You got some valuable property here. Stand a beach. Twenty healthy, mature oak. Curly maple, elm, black walnut. To the point. The point is, Mrs. Comstock, with the timber interest moving into our county, your assets on this property are very valuable. Thank you. That means they'll bring a much higher tax. What? You're telling me I'm going to have to pay more for my own trees? These trees have been here since long before I was married. I'm sure. And I'm sure if your husband was here, he'd understand that times are changing. New roads have to be built for automobiles. Well, that town high school, now, there was a very large expense. How much? Now, these figures are just for our appraisal. You'll, uh, you'll receive a notice. If I don't know how much, how am I going to get it? You have no need to worry. Just sell off some of the trees. Never. Robert loved those trees. They're part of this land. Some of me planted himself. Well, it's your choice, ma'am. I'd say, uh, better sell off some of those valuable trees and lose a whole farm. Lose a farm? I was playing the violin. That's it. Yes. Very good. Once more. More clarity. together. The violence must cost a lot. Oh, don't talk. Concentrate on the feel. Back to the original hand position. He did quite well playing for those local dancers. I'll never forget the day that he earned enough to buy that violin of his. Robert polished it till it glowed. Your father used to make it sing. Get out to the field and I'll show you how to stack corn. Farm cuts work. Get all the eggs now. Uh, I was out this way and uh, thought I'd drop by. One hundred and fifty dollars? 
That's more than double the tax we pay. I knew you'd be surprised. I did everything I could to help. See, that's why I came out here personally. The lumber company's paying others around here top dollar for their timber. No. I told you before, we're not cutting our trees. I see. Do you have some other plan? I got enough for the old tax. The seed corn is real good this year. <sighs> tax is due end of the month, you know. We'll pay on time. Well, just in case, remember the lumber company pays up front. Good day, Mr. Applegate. Nora. The county tax man came here today. There's going to be a lot more taxes on the farm. Oh? So get into your work clothes. Won't be needing those town frills anymore. What do you mean? don't pay, they're gonna take the farm? But it's ours. Yes, my girl. Now maybe you understand why I've kept you close. This farm your father left us is everything we have. Well, can we sell enough crops to pay it? The only way I can figure is if we double up our work and clear the fields quick. Well, hurry and bring the whole crop to market. I'll get up early in the morning and work and come home right after school. No, my dear. The only hope is if we work straight through, dawn to dark, and before the weather changes. Then I can't go to school. Might as well get rid of those books. Sure is clean. What are you doing in that get up? Going to school. I have to return some books to Mrs. Porter. Don't you understand that soon there won't be a home to come back to? Mother, can't we just maybe that other woman and those fancy town people is where you think you belong? No, mother. You get rid of those books and get to work. Maybe we can sell them back. I won't sell my books. You've got to, Elnora. Why have you never told me about my father's music? Who told you about that? What happened to his violin? It died with him. Robert and the music died together. No. I don't believe that. It just doesn't die. It just doesn't happen. She didn't mean it. You do love her, don't you?
Anyway, logger. They're felling trees at the other end of the Limberloft. No more is Pa back there. Yep, a lot of days, side by side. Only I was holding the nails, and he'd be fixing. <laughs> Built part of the house, and all these fences himself. This here. Robert's handiwork. Every foot of it from our own lumber. Sure do you need a man around here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have to admit, it does feel good to laugh. I haven't laughed much in... <laughs> Was our horse paw funny? Not exactly, but when I was younger, we had fun. It's a long time ago. Did you dance? Sometimes. You used to dance? Robert played the fiddle. So we went to all the country dances. Show me. No. Please. Take this to the barn, Mr. Man. Help him, Elnora. You stay off my land. Please put down the weapon, Mrs. Comstock. How'd you know my name? Your daughter, Elnora, told me. So it's you meddling with my girl. Your daughter is a wonderful girl. I was happy to help. You don't need any help, Miss Porter. I meant with her schooling. I met her in the Limberlost when I was taking pictures from my book. Would you like to see? I don't need pictures of what I've seen all my life. Neither does Elnora. The girl's head's already filled with nonsense. She's needed here. It doesn't have to be that way for Elnora. She's got great potential. When people like us get filled up with dreams, no good comes of it. A mother knows what's best. And I will not have you given her impossible dreams. Mrs. Comstock, I have children, too. They're grown and gone. It wasn't easy, but I knew that when birds get too big for the nest, the mother pushes them out. That's how they start to fly. Stay away from my daughter! Get back to work.
Go fetch me some water, Billy. I'm on my way. tell you that if you don't come back in a few days, you'll be expelled. Expelled? That's the rule. So you have to. I can't, Sally. Well, why not? Because if we don't bring in the crop, we're going to lose the farm. So you tell him that for me, please? And tell Mr. Hinton that I... Just tell him I said thank you. Well, it's really pretty here. <sighs> I can show you my secret place if you want. You've got a secret place? It's in the swamp. It's dangerous. There's hidden rivers under the grass. And if you get lost, you could drown. Good, let's go. of a polyphemous moth. First of all, what's it made of? Oh, anything it finds in the trees, it weaves it together in its own silk. What are you going to do with it? Oh, I know a woman who buys things like this. She writes books and pays me money. And she can do anything she wants. <laughs> really? He doesn't bite or anything. No. See? <laughs> You're the first person I've ever shown this place. On purpose. I wish I had a secret place. Is, is this where you fix your, your butterflies? Yes. Oh, Nora, I just had an idea how you can stay in school. I managed to forget about that for a moment. Listen to me. You have to try. Since you sold those butterflies, what if you sold lots more? I thought of that. So? My mother won't let me go into town anymore. She even told Mrs. Porter not to talk to me. It's because she needs me here so much. Just don't tell her. Do it. You're my friend. Thank you for coming. So I'll see you in school? All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. 
What do you think, Psycho? I have something you want. You don't have anything I want. Where'd you get that? I found it in the bushes. You stole that from Mrs. Porter. I found it. How am I going to give it back to her? You little monster. Come back here. Anybody home? I can't hire any farmhands. Miss Comstock? What do you want? You got a boy named Billy here? Yes, I have Billy. Ma'am, I knew his daddy. He wanted the boy to have the coat, if anything. I traveled with him after Onabasha, so he talked to me some. I know he left the boy in Onabasha. Some of the folks in town said they saw your girl with him. Why did he leave the boy? Don't know, ma'am. Looks like it was a good idea. What happened to him? Died on a train to Lafayette. I'm sorry. Would you want some hot food? I have to catch a train. I have to talk to Billy. The paws back? That's his coat. He would never leave his coat. Where is he? Billy? A man came today and brought the coat. That's his coat. He used to wrap me in his coat. Yes. But your pa isn't here. He died in another city. That man didn't know. Not even Pa's coat. Pa's coat was tore up like this. I'm sorry. No! used to ride the rails when they, I just got lost. Billy, he's not coming back. You, you have to be strong. You did it because you always want money. You took his coat. You can stay here, Billy. You knew it a long time ago. Just didn't tell me because you wanted me to keep working. The man came today. Why'd you have to go and tell me? Ruin everything. You're lying. Lying, you're lying, you're lying. <laughs> oh. 
He's gone now, Billy. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> Say goodbye to your pa. <laughs> Just got to keep going, I guess. Just like Mrs. Porter. She writes books, even though people used to tell her she couldn't. Maybe you can play the violin anyhow. You think so? Sure you can. My pa is never coming back. I know it now, because he'd never leave his coat. Well, you can stay with us. Mother said. Why does an owl fly away? Oh, he was hurt so bad when I first found him that he'll never fly again. Uh, he's healthy now except for his wing. He's a friend. Can you give it to that lady? I'm gonna try. It's not very special. I'd be pretty, though. You know, she said if I can find an Imperialis, she'd pay me lots of money. Really? Oh, uh, and I won't steal from her no more. And I'll never tell about the box. Agreed? Agreed. <laughs> this is the last stack. This is the best seed corn we've ever grown. Ought to get us some money for sure. Sure is enough of it. 121, 122. There's $28 to go. Well, Texas will do right away. Just time enough to bring the seed corn to market. I can go back to school. If you work early and late in the fields tomorrow and we get it all in. Trees. Take the form. Mother, it's all right. What's he gonna do? You stay with mother. I'm going to check on friends. 
freckles. All these years, I kept it up. You would have been proud. Best seed corn. You should have seen it. What a storm. Hi, Freckles. Are you all right? Huh? <laughs> yes? Good, good, good. Imperialis. Oh, my, Freckles. Where'd you get that money? From selling them off. I found the one that's very rare. She said she hadn't been in. She? She? That woman from town? She collects insects. And she said that maybe I could have a vocation after high school. Vocation? This farm is your future. Your father left us this land. And because of her, we can keep it. Because of her? 
I work my fingers to the bone, and you... All you can say is because I... Now you don't have to worry about the farm. I was hoping you'd be glad. Better get changed out of those wet clothes. I haven't heard that since your father performed. That's an Oriole song, isn't it? You understood. <laughs> oh, you certainly are your father's child. Those were his two loves, music and the Limberlofs. He used to take his violin out there to listen, to listen. But I thought you said he played for the town dances. Oh, he did. He did that, too. But he was different from all the other players. Not because of, of how he learned to play, but how he learned to hear. I wish I'd known him. We could have played together in the Limberloss. He would have liked that. We should begin. Why, good afternoon, Mr. Applegate. It is a pleasure to see you. Hello, Mrs. Comstock. So sorry about that storm. Your corn crop must have been ruined. It couldn't have come at a worse time. Well, step over to my office. I'll send my secretary with a note to Mr. White at the lumber company. Oh, I wouldn't trouble you to do that, Mr. Applegate. I've come to pay my tax. You've got it all? Every cent. Do it again. I like the sound. Mother. Stop it. Kate, please. Stop it. That's all. That's all. Kate. 
Kate, please. You took Robert from me, and now... Kate, it was never you me. You want her to, well, you'll never get her. If you hadn't tempted him, I'd still have my husband. I never gave you permission for this. Never! It isn't me taking them from you, Kate! No, you're gonna hear me. Why? Why did you have to ruin it for me? I ruined it for you. Don't you think you had it? Don't you understand? I wanted you to hear me. I wanted you to be proud of me. Now you understand, Missy. I have fed and sheltered you. You have taken everything I have. Taken? I tried to love you. You do love me, don't you, Mother? The truth. All right. You can take yourself to high school and stand up on that stage. You're ready. I would have had a laugh if it weren't for that music. The night you were born, your father was playing his fiddle for some people in town. It was Mr. Hinton's fault, tempting him with crazy dreams to be a fiddler. Leave me alone. I usually went with him, but it had rained the way poured last night. I was close to my time for birth and you. He didn't want me getting wet, catching cold. He, he just had to get out there with that fiddle. He must have called when he slipped in the river, but I never heard him. Because of you, I wasn't with him. <laughs> I wasn't with him when he called. And it's my fault. I didn't, I didn't mean... He really do hate me. What is it, dear? Can I talk to you? You're so cold. It doesn't matter anymore. Tell me. I found out about my father. He drowned in the swamp the day I was born. It was my fault. That's why she hates me. We said that out of pain. I feel she's waiting at home for you right now. I can't go home, Mrs. Porter. She doesn't want me. Now I understand everything. Don't let her win, Elnora. Don't let her stop you. She only wanted him all these years. She probably loved him very much. But my guess is she's afraid. The her. She's afraid of being left alone. She said... He drowned because of me. You know better than that. You know how the Limberlost is after the storm. The river was too deep. Your mother couldn't have saved him. No one could. <laughs> Except you. 
respectfully for him and yourself. All these things that you talk about. I once wanted my mother to be a part of them. But... I'll go on myself. Mrs. Comstock? Do you know where I'd find Elnora? She said her place was a secret because you'd get real angry. I'm not angry anymore, Billy. Let's go to a place in the Limberlands. Show me. Elnora showed me where it's safe to walk. Put a foot in here, sis. Over here. There's no one here. Here. This is my daughter. Mother, what are you doing here? I thought I was keeping you safe. But I drove you away. This is for you. Fathers. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. 